Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I'm going to share an instant chutney. I have showed you so many instant chutneys, dear friends. Try those and this is also one of the instant chutney and this we are going to make it with tomatoes. Not the regular tomato chutney. This is like, you know, you can keep this chutney for at least 10 days and you can use this dear friends and this I learned it from my mom and recently she made it again and always whenever she makes this I used to love this and this chutney is boiled tomato chutney so what we usually do is we take the tomatoes take nice red tomatoes slightly you know it should be like hard it should not be soft and whenever you choose the tomatoes also you need to see that the tomatoes are nice and hard and red in color if needed so here is the tomatoes what you need to do is you need to wash them and you need to wipe off entirely you should not have any water to it if you have water to your tomatoes then your chutney or you know the pachadi will get spoiled so wipe off i washed it and i have taken a clean cloth and i wiped the tomatoes and these are ready and now what we are going to do is, we are going to cut these tomatoes, however way you want, you can cut it. You want small pieces, you can cut it into small pieces and slightly big. Today I am cutting into four pieces and we are going to cut rest of them. So friends, here you can see, I have roughly chopped the tomatoes. It should be like this. When we make this boiled chutney, we should see the tomatoes also. So add all the tomatoes. And now we are going to add all the ingredients. Here is the salt. This is a pickle, so add little bit extra salt. Add some turmeric and some ginger garlic paste and chili powder. It's a pickle, so you can add little bit extra of chili powder. Mix it once. So we are going to cover this with a lid and we are going to cook this for 15 minutes. That's why we say boiled tomato chutney. So here we are going to let this boil and now we are not going to add any water dear friends. The water from the tomatoes and you know from the chili powder and even from the salt you will get a lot of moisture. So with this moisture itself we need to cook these tomatoes. And here we are going to put the tempering for our pickle that is pachadi and little bit extra oil because it is a pickle. And you know, if you don't have time to make your uh, pickles, this is the best way. Just get some tomatoes, boil it and you'll get this chutney. And this goes excellent with dosa, idli and even upma dear friends. And even for parathas also, you can have this. So friends, the oil is hot. We're going to add some cumin seeds, mustard seeds and also we're going to add some garlic. You know, any chutney or any pickle, try to add some garlic, you will get that flavor. So add the garlic, red chilies and switch off the flame. With this, you know, heat itself, the garlic will cook and even you will get the color for the red chilies. And also add some curry leaves and run away. So friends, here you can see I switched off the flame. With the heat itself, you can see our garlic and our red chilies have got nice color so we're going to keep this aside once our tomatoes gets ready then we're going to put the tempering into the tomato after 10 to 15 minutes here our tomato is boiling nicely you can see all the moisture is still there we need to have like this and now in this we're going to add half a teaspoon of mustard powder and less than half a teaspoon of cumin powder and less than half a teaspoon of methi powder. Now mix this and switch off the flame. This is perfect and awesome ah, aroma. And what you can do is you can boil like this and keep it in the refrigerator whenever you want to eat it. What you can do is you can just put the tempering and add the tempering, mix it and have it for any type of breakfast. So this is ready. I am going to add all the tempering today in this directly. I made it in a small quantity, you know, just for two days this pickle will be over in our house. So add all the tempering and mix this. And now you can check the taste, salt and chilli powder. If you need more then you can add some more of salt. 
always be careful dear friends you need to add good amount of salt if you're going to add less of salt then your pickle will spoil very very fast so check the salt and adjust it and if you are scared then what you can do is just let it rest outside for some time and then put it in a container and put it in refrigerator whenever you feel like eating just remove from the fridge and have it so friends after you add everything just mix this and now it's tasting time i love this pickle so much mm. Mm. let it rest it's perfect if you want for sourness you can add some you know two or three pieces of tamarind while you're boiling the tomatoes but i suggest you need not add because our tomatoes are nice and you know sour you will get the sourness from the tomatoes if you want you can add very you know two or three pieces of tamarind to it mm. salt is perfect it's nice and spicy it's not too spicy but perfect amount of spice and all you know the methi flavor slightly we added the methi powder and mustard and dear friends don't throw away these tomato pieces you need to have these tomato see i always used to enjoy these tomatoes you need to try this dear friends such a yummy 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 pickle with rice also this goes excellent i'm going to have this today with rice mm. you guys try this simple pickle i hope you enjoyed this very simple pickle if you like it make it share it and also feed your family fresh food see you in another session with some more recipes